We're going to turn now to another major headline tonight. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell congratulating President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris on the Senate floor. Tonight, what McConnell said about history made and then President-elect Joe Biden campaigning in Georgia today where the control of the Senate will be determined by those two Senate races early voting underway. Here's Mary Bruce. 42 days after the election, Republican leader Mitch McConnell today finally acknowledged reality. The Electoral College has spoken. So today I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. I also want to congratulate the Vice President-elect, our colleague from California, Senator Harris. Beyond our differences, all Americans can take pride that our nation has a female Vice President-elect for the very first time. If that wasn't clear enough, he sent this message to his Republican colleagues. Uh, the decision by the Electoral College yesterday was determinative. The president-elect later revealing he and McConnell spoke for the first time since the election. I had a good conversation with Mitch McConnell today. We talked to him, so I called him to thank him for the congratulations. Today, Biden touching down in Georgia, a state he won in an upset, and where control of the Senate will be decided by two runoff elections on January 5th. You voted as if your life depended on it. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to do it again. Biden urging Georgia Democrats to turn out for candidates John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Send me these two men and we will control the Senate and we will change the lives of people in Georgia. Biden is also plowing ahead with his transition. Today, picking one-time rival, former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg as Transportation Secretary, a key role that would help implement the president-elect's ambitious goal of rebuilding the nation's infrastructure. So let's get to Mary on the other news tonight because there's movement this evening on Capitol Hill and the negotiations over a COVID relief bill, Mary, to help millions of Americans uh, struggling during this pandemic. Well, David, for the first time in months right now, Democratic and Republican leaders are meeting in Speaker Pelosi's office to try and finally hammer out a deal. Mitch McConnell today said they will not be going home for the holiday until they can get this done. So the pressure is on. Now, right now, both sides still remain at odds over the main sticking points, but they do say that they are making progress. David. All right, Mary, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.